We're here with Williams College after a 2-1 victory over NESCAC foe. Uh, Tufts in the sectional semifinal of the NCAA tournament. If you wouldn't mind just introducing yourselves to get us started. I'm Liz Weber. Michelin Pinar. Alana Albert. Coach, to start us off, you're playing a foe you're very familiar with. You've seen them many times yearly, and if not multiple times a year. What's the preparation like going into a game like that? Yeah, to be honest, we, one of the reasons we love the NCAA tournament is to play teams that don't know us and we don't know them. Um, so to see a familiar foe, um, you know, it, it, we're obviously excited just to be playing, um, but we know them well, they know us very well. Um, and so what we try to do is just focus on what we do best and try to do that um, to the best of our ability. And I, and I thought, I thought um, the first half was okay, and certainly we got on the board, which was great. Um, but that second half, I thought the way we were moving the ball was really, it was, it was spectacular. And um, so, but anytime we get a result against us, we'll take it for sure. Absolutely. Similar question to uh, the folks playing inside the lines, playing a team that you're familiar with. You, you've been there before, you know this team. Um, anything different compared to last weekend or, or coming into a foe that you're not familiar with? Um, I think something that we talk about as a lot as a team is just controlling the things you can control and against a, a new team or against a team you've played before I think something we knew we can control is our energy and how much we really brought it and how much we fought during the game and I think that's something that was really evident during the first half and even more so during the second half um, just controlling the things you can control and letting the rest kind of just happen. Yeah, I think kind of the same thing, just starting with our warm-ups each game as we progress now. Um, there's more adrenaline that goes into these games. We get a little bit more amped up, but um, Tufts played out of their mind. They played so, so well, and it was really nice to get that result. Yeah, you guys punched them in the mouth a little bit. You scored two quick ones. <laughs> How does that feel on the sidelines and on the field? What's that like to get two quick ones and, and kind of have, have your foot on the gas and be in the driver's seat? I think it's great on the sidelines. I like get so excited when we score goals, and I like try not my best not to run up and down the sidelines <laughs> on my broken knee. But um, <laughs> it's just so fun, and like to have that energy and momentum, it's great, and it just makes us play more confidently. And when we're playing confidently, like we're, we are just unstoppable. And so that was like, a great way to start that half, for sure. And you know, Tufts is just such a dangerous team. Um, they have several many um, great attacking players so you know we got up we got up but I, I don't think any of us felt like we had the game until the very end and even at the end it was a like head moments of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nerve wracking um, just because they're so good and so dangerous um, and so I just thought that 90 minutes of great division three women's soccer a lot of fun and just so much fun to be a part of yeah, yeah. definitely I think that <laughs> <laughs> I think that the um, scoring two goals is great and it gives us confidence. But again, we don't like that. Doesn't mean that we can take our foot off the gas at all. And um, sometimes it even makes it more difficult to keep our head in the game, focus through. And I think that we did a really good job in that today. So we got another one coming up. We got 22 hours, 21 hours until you're back out there on Shoemaker Field. What's the What's the next day look like? What's the overnight look like from a coaching perspective, yeah. from a player's perspective? How do we prepare for tomorrow? What's it look like? Well, you know, first and foremost, we need to recover um, and we get, need to get a good night's sleep. Um, and then we'll wake up tomorrow morning with a game plan. I um, certainly don't have one yet. We weren't making one before we had this game and um, this result. So, um, we're, uh, to be honest, to be able to play Messiah in Elite Eight, um, it's just an awesome opportunity. And I think, again, talk about quality Division Three soccer and the opportunity to showcase all the hard work that these women do um, and, and the ability they have. It's, it's really fun, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Yeah. Is that good? You really managed to uh, shut them down uh, after they scored that goal. It really was against the run of play where they scored that one to get one back. Uh, what did you do? You did some really cool things defensively, clog up the middle, really didn't give them much opportunity. They didn't have like a sure bet. Uh, what are some of the adjustments that you made and some of the yeah. preparations that worked in it that may serve you well tomorrow, potentially. Yeah, so our, our backs and our goalkeeping have been phenomenal over the last month. It's just they, they've been so tight and steady. I think, to be honest, in the first half, the opportunities they did get, um, we helped them create those with our distribution. So once we tightened that up, I thought we could calm ourselves down and really take care of the... Um, and take care of the ball we could we could limit their opportunities and so actually ironically it wasn't a defensive adjustment but rather an attacking adjustment that allowed to take the steam out of their sails and um, again they, we have so much respect for their attacking um, that I think as soon as we had confidence in us take care of the ball it limited their chances and that helped us a lot 
how good do you guys feel as a team considering uh, the upswing in your play and the quality results that you had of late going into the most important games of the year? Yeah. I can't think of a better time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> But in all seriousness, I think we've been working really hard this whole season, and, and it was a matter of time before things started to click. Like, we were a half step off or a half second off for, for weeks and weeks, and I think we've hit our stride and, and certainly in the right moment. So feels great. Thank you so much. Great. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>